Hey guys, what's going on? Turbok here. Today we're going to be playing some Farming Simulator 2019 here on the Sandy Bay map. And we have a few problems. The first problem is that we went ahead and sold our. Well, it's not really a problem. We went ahead and sold our straw. I did a live stream yesterday on my channel. So if you guys want to go check that out, it should be up in the top corner, up over here. There'll be our thing that pops out. Actually, at the beginning of the video, so or it popped out right now. I don't know, whatever I put it as. But yeah, the straw basically just all fell down, and I just decided to haul it off because we can't. We're not going to do cows on this map or any animals till a different map comes out, which should be pretty soon, hopefully before Christmas, or maybe Christmas Day would be nice. Anyway, we got this grass disaster here it's not really that bad as the straw was the straw that basically all this fell down I think when I stack them high like that it the bottom ones glitch out and they all fall down like that and then they start leaning out and splitting and all that so I think I'll probably the only highest I'll go is three maybe maybe four I think I'll only go three high next time Cause that's really the height that you I mean you don't really need to go that high I was gonna try and fill this whole barn full of hay but since they're glitching out and all that I probably won't but today we're going to be spraying some well we're gonna be spraying our crops and we're gonna be spraying some other people's crops and we're gonna jump in the 4640 start rolling down to the shop we'll probably have to put singles on this tractor you know, we've been using the old 4640 a lot. I've been using a lot of John Deere stuff. I wish there was some other... There is an Alice Challengers out there on Facebook. It's private. I don't know if I'll be able to get it or not. I might go ask the guy if I can have it. But usually it doesn't work out too good. Because most people just keep them private and don't want to give them away. Which, I understand that. So we're going to go down and get the sprayer. We need to spray our two fields. One of beans, one of corn. And yeah, we're gonna spray that of pesticide, and then I think we have some custom work. Not necessarily fertilizing, but well, or er, yeah, fertilizing. And I think we're gonna try and pay off our sprayer. We're gonna try and spray field 15 here and get back our 6,000 bucks for the sprayer that we leased. Because we are gonna lease it, try and make a little money back. Looks like they sprayed that field. So yeah, we're gonna take this down to the shop real fast. I don't know how much fuel we got. We'll probably put singles on. And we might even go get the other, just the regular dry spreader and fertilize that field. We'll see. All right, so we're rolling up to the shop. We're gonna wheel in here. First things first, we're gonna take off the duels. Now I wish you could actually get out and unbolt the hub and take the tire off. That would be really, Awesome to do. However you can. I wonder how much it'd be. $24? That ain't bad. Customize. Get some singles on. Free. So that's nice. Could sell it for $22,000. Looks a little better with the duels off. Not, not much. We'll go to crop protection. We're going to buy this big one. Just because I know uh, this is an American brand. And this one, I don't know. I could get this one, it doesn't hold as much. I'm just gonna get this one. I was gonna convert one. But yeah, so five, fifty-eight, six five. And if we do this mission, we'll have like a hundred dollars. So that should pay off our sprayer. We might do another one. I don't know. We might do a few of them. Just to pay it off anyway. But it should give us a good thirty-five percent off. Ooh, the sprayer bins are gonna hit. Oh, is that, whoa, the hitch moves? What in the world? I didn't know the hitch moved. I'll be darned. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna unfold it and see what it does. I didn't know the hitch moved. That's weird. I've never seen that before. It's the first time using the in-game sprayer. Ooh, it's a pretty big sprayer. Oh yeah, I should be able to get some ground covered pretty quick. 
Lift it up. Whoops, lift her up. Yeah, what the heck? That's weird. I didn't know it flex like that. Anyway, we we'll probably have to bring down the pickup and load up me some fertilizer. Right now we're going to buy a herbicide. Now we should be able to buy three of these. Or one of them, anyway. Uh, we might need two or three. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to take out a loan. Oh, I think... Oh, I see. So that way when you turn... The sprayer might follow your own tracks. I'm not sure exactly what that's for. Borrow some money here. A couple thousand. Herbicide tank. Buy two more. I think there's a chance that it follows your tracks. I don't know. I want to pop a wheelie. Just because I'm turning so short. Yeah, I don't think it follows your tracks necessarily. Actually, it might. It either does follow your tracks or it's so that... I don't know. Or it's like just so that you can turn short. Because like there is a bunch of stuff that's just odd with the spur. Never seen one that moves like that. That's weird. Unless you're going fast. Looks like if you go slow, it turns it. I don't know. Maybe there's so much weight on this bear. I don't know. But anyway, we are going to go back to our fields. So we'll drive all the way to 18. Get the spur unfolded. Get rolling. And get moving down the road. All right, so I think the problem is that the sprayer is just that heavy and it's popping a wheelie when I try to turn. I think it's just that heavy. Plus that hitch is whacking out. See, like a takeoff and it's just, just a lot of tongue weight. But the one reason why I spray it while it's small like this, number one, to get rid of the weeds right away. And number two, so that I don't ruin my crops by driving on them. And you still do drive on them. One thing I don't like is you can't really see where you're going because we don't have a GPS yet. Would love to get GPS mod going. It's like it's like turning and flexing. It's being weird. But anyway, yeah, I shut my hood off, I guess, so I can't see nothing. Oh, yeah, we're not using much spray at all. We'll probably have a lot extra, which will be all right. Have some for next year. Carry over. So we're going to go ahead and spray this field quick. It shouldn't take really that long. Um, it's a pretty big sprayer. Got to go a lot of acres to cover. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get this sprayed real fast. And we'll see you guys probably at the other field because I think I'll fold it up, move it to the next one. And that's how it'll work. Alright, so it's like really hard to see where I've been, because it is corn. I think, I don't know. It's hard without a GPS, because you really don't know how far it is out. So I think what I'll do, I'm going to finish this, or try to finish it. should have plenty. Oh yeah, we have lots left. So, we can probably repay this, actually. A little bit. Now how much are we in debt? 25000 um, let's go to, we got, oh, we only got like a pass down and a pass back. We got a little bit there to do, but that's all right. Should finish fertilizing that field. That's weird how I got whacked out like that. 
Okay, so I think we'll finish this, take it back to the house, and wait for a job or see what jobs are open to do. Okay, so it looks like we're all done. We're gonna go ahead and fold it up. Should have a little spray left. And I think we are going to just leave that off. And it looks like to me, everybody just got done spraying their fields. Looks like a lot of fertilizing, a few harvesting. See, because there's that field. There's a field that I saw on the way up here that was sprayed. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the plant growth. I'm gonna turn it on fast and we're gonna speed up time just a little bit, hopefully not too much, so that it doesn't mess everything up. Hopefully it will, hopefully I'll remember it and shut the time off or slow it down. Okay, so it's about eight o'clock, almost eight o'clock. The reason I don't do anything in the morning is because the sun's like bright and you really can't see nothing on recording unless you're facing this way. But it is raining and I didn't know this, but they did fix, like I knew they were talking about it, but before it would always rain inside the sheds. Now it really doesn't. Pickup's getting rained on. That's all right. We'll get it washed off. And the wipers also turn on. So that's a cool feature. You just can see the wipers going, even though there's no rain on the cab right now. Great man saw me. Let's go ahead and slow down the time here. It's going to be raining for a little while. We'll get these shuttles put away and probably won't be able to do field work because it's muddy out. And we'll go ahead and hook on to this. Pull it out of there. Nice and level. Might be able to spear both of them. Yeah, I'll just do this for now. There we go, that's a little heavy out there. Boom out, maybe. It's kinda heavy. It ain't terribly. But I don't think I'll be able to tip it when it's out there. Oh yeah, I can, a little bit. I know you're not, oh shoot. I know you're not really supposed to do any of this with the shuttles and stuff. Push them around and all that. I'm just gonna push them up back there, try and get off of them. There we go, maybe tick this one up and drop it down. Even push it up there. There we go. Push it in there. Put the old pallet fork back where it goes. Put the telehandler away. We'll do that in a little bit. But anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, hit that like button. And go ahead and check out my channel. I might be streaming today. I don't know. Actually, probably tomorrow I might. Saturday. We'll see. I might be doing a tournament also. But anyway, we will see you all tomorrow. 7 o'clock.